Okay, so in this problem we have a coin with a certain diameter d, a certain thickness, a certain area, and a certain volume. And we're told that the change in the diameter is equal to 0.18%. Now we know that the change in the diameter is equal to the diameter times alpha delta t. And so we can write that delta d on d is equal to alpha delta t. Now part a of the question asked us what is the change in the area of the face. So we need to calculate the change in area over the area. Now we know, you, you need to show as an exercise that the change in area is equal to 2 alpha a delta t, initial a. And so the change in area over area is equal to 2 alpha delta t, which is 2 times, this is alpha delta t, so it's 2 times this. So this is 2 times 0.18%, so that's equal to 0.36%. Okay, in part B, we were asked about the thickness of the coin. The thickness is just a one-dimensional thing, so the thickness change will be the same as the diameters change. The delta t over t will equal delta d over d, which will be alpha, well, alpha delta t, which is 0.18%. Next, we were asked for the change in volume, delta V over V, very similar to this, except that the change in volume we showed was equal to 3 alpha VI delta T. And so this is equal to 3 alpha delta T, which is 3 times this, which is 0.54%. Question D asked us what's the change in mass, well, we're not changing the amount of matter in the coin, so we're not changing its mass. No mass change. And then in part E, we were asked to calculate alpha. So we'll need to use this. So let's use this part. We've got 0 0.18 over 100 is equal to alpha times, we were told that the change in temperature was 100 degrees. So alpha is equal to 0 0.18 over 100 squared which is 0 0.18 times 10 to the minus 4. We could also write this as 18 times 10 to the minus 6 if we wanted to. And we should give units, so this is per Kelvin. Per Kelvin. Or per degree C, it doesn't matter.